Okay, today for small group, uh, we are going to continue uh, with carbon-based molecules. And in small group, uh, you are going to be um, looking at several different carbon-based molecules that have been built for you. This is versus uh, classes are going to have a slightly different task uh, than the other three uh, teachers today, seeing as I'm not in the building today. Uh, our learning targets, though, are going to be the same. Uh, students can build biomolecules. Uh, students can explain the function of the main biomolecules, which we started last week Thursday. Uh, we reviewed and are continuing to fill in uh, details yesterday in large group. And we'll be up and about in the back of the lab area in just a few minutes. We've had a lot of people um, having their deer hunting sheets that they've been asking us to fill out uh, for either hunting or out of town. Um, if you're going to be absent next week, uh, we did um, write down on your absent sheet that there's a review. And next week, Monday, we're going to assign that. It's dated next Monday, 11-19, Unit 2 Review, Chemistry and Living Systems. Um, that's not going to be due for a while, so not till after uh, Thanksgiving break. Uh, but we thought with the long break, if people wanted to get ahead, um, if you were uh, going to have some time to work through uh, the, this assignment, um, feel free to do that uh, this week into next week uh, if you don't want to do it over the Thanksgiving break. So for today's assignment, um, we're going to ask you to move uh, the assignment that is listed in modules. So you have to go to modules. It's listed 11, 13, 18, building carbon-based molecules, student activity, and post-lab analysis. So we'll give you some time to get that open and fired up. What you're going to notice once you get that document open is that there's four pages. Uh, the first three pages deal with um, three of the four main macromolecules. Building carbohydrates, building lipids, and then the third one, building proteins that we're going to be working on. When you open it up, you're going to notice that it's blank. Uh, you are going to be working on completing those first three sheets uh, for the beginning of class on Thursday. It's not a submission, but we expect you to um, work through this activity so that you can then work on the post lab, which is page four. So if you had anybody except Mrs. Wirtz today, you would be actually building these biomolecules. Uh, when you go to the back of Mrs. Wirtz's room, what you're going to notice is on tables one, two, and three, uh, the carbohydrates are built um, for you. You're going to be snapping a picture of a monosaccharide, disaccharide, polysaccharide. Uh, those are already built on the papers at the table. Please leave those papers there. Um, if you go to tables um, four or five, you're going to notice that saturated and unsaturated fats are built. And if you go to table six, you're going six or seven, you're going to be building a protein. Um, and the initial design of it will also be set up for you. When you get to each table, um, instead of uh, you having to take the time to build them, um, they're going to be built for you, um, but you do need to read the instructions because there are um, blanks in there that you are going to be answering as you're analyzing those molecules that have been built for you. Again, by the time that you're done today, you'll have completed pages one, two, and three. And you should have those ready to go um, at the beginning of the class period. When you go to um, the table, um, you're going to notice again that this section here has been filled in for you on building carbohydrates. There are blanks there. 
um, the blanks you are still expected to um, fill in. And so you're going to rotate around the tables, um, taking pictures. For example, if you come to station four or five, you're going to find information on saturated fats. On saturated fats, the diagrams are built for you, but then there's questions there. So you're taking a picture of the molecules and then answering uh, the questions. And you're going to continue to do that uh, when you build a protein. Again, it's going to have, this one has four different amino acids. It's going to ask you to look it up and tell us what type of uh, amino acid is it. Does it have a charge, uncharged, polar, nonpolar? And you can find that by the reference sheets that are there. And then take a picture. Those pictures will be in there. It tells you to give it a name because most proteins end in IN. And um, that will bring you up to the majority of the material expected for you to have by Thursday. Then on Thursday, uh, we will be talking about this post lab. But you need to make sure that you finish pages 1 through 3 and the questions that are asked of you. As we move to the back, no more than four people at a lab station. And you should continue to rotate. Once you get your diagrams drawn, then you can move back to your seats and work on answering the questions on pages one through three, and then starting to look at this post-lab section here. Again, page four, we will um, come back to at the start of class on Thursday, and then we will assign it as an assignment.